Hello everyone, this is Artanis215, and welcome to episode 4 of Artanis215's Let's Play. Uh, today, we have a bunch of stuff to do. I did want to show you something that I did off camera, kind of by accident. Uh, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I made an electric wrench, which is just a small power unit. Only takes one battery. And then the wrench. Um, I also made a tape measure from Bibliocraft, which was just some iron, some string, and some dandelion yellow. Something too terrible. I also went and sheared some sheep. And that's it. So today is moving day. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I've been up to off camera. I've been doing quite a bit. So here's the new house. Uh, it's just down from where we were. Got some nice little balcony areas off to each side. And then over here is going to be like the main room. I just like this little platform in the middle. Keeps mobs from spawning. And then we have our table, which has been completely refilled and has all of our chips in it that we could need. I redid some of the chips and I put a bunch in there. And then we have our ore chest, a bunch of stone and all of these chests. So I've been moving. Um, and then in here is going to be the bedroom area. I'm probably going to decorate this up with some furniture and stuff. And, uh, here are some slab furnaces from Tinkers, I believe. Yep, slab furnace. As you can see, it's a slab. I have my bed on top of them. Then I have a furnace and a crafting table. These are all slabs, by the way, so mobs cannot spawn even if they wanted to. And then in here, this is all well lit, so no worries. Uh, but anyways, oh, I did go mining off camera for quite a while. As you can see, we have a bunch of stuff. And I got us some more diamonds. No luck with redstone yet, but uh, I'm sure I'll find some. So let's go ahead and move. Uh, go ahead and pick up these guys. I'm just going to completely reset the configuration on that guy. I'm going to fix it later. Pick it up, and it'll keep all of its energy, though. Then we can go ahead and get these conduits, our machines, the chute, and then we'll use this mode. And uh, there is a keybind conflict between the map writer mod and IC2's mode switch key. So I switched my to P, it was an open one. Hold P, right click. Now we're in lossless wrench mode, so we can go ahead and pick up our, our goodies without the fear of losing anything. And then... Uh, pick those up and this is a special spot so we'll keep that like that come on out here and then we're gonna craft something right away as you can see I've been hunting we have some ender pearls uh, go ahead and toss some stuff up there so we'll grab a couple of these and about 16 wool and then we'll go ahead and because this is a new block Oops. Uh, do that. Um, go ahead and get these guys. Put that in the middle and surround it with wool. And I'll show you what it was in just a second. And we get ourselves our first set of elevators. So we're going to put one right here. And then a slab. That's not a slab. And I should go ahead and check this. Okay, so it is spawnable, but um, I don't know why. This room's pretty tiny, but we'll put that there anyways, just in case. I'm not sure. There, now it's off. All right, and then we'll head back through our portal upstairs. And we'll put this other one down where you saw this is directly above that one so now we have one there and we can freely travel by their shifting uh, what did I do well, you know I bet I know what the problem is What? 
the same color. Oh, is it this torch? And now I have to get back up there. Dang it. There we go. So the torch was the issue. I'll just go ahead and do that. And um, we'll just pretty this up a little bit and then we'll put it up higher. So we'll put it right here. This is the elevator from Open Blocks, if you were wondering. And then we can freely travel between our floor and here by either shifting or jumping. Awesome. So there's that. Uh, also in your configs, your IC2 sounds might be disabled. I went ahead and re-enabled mine because I, I like them. I like the sounds of the stuff, so that's me. Um, it was a personal decision, but I like the sounds, so I'm going to keep them. And today we are going to set up a bit of a machine area. I do need to finish off this room. Um, but this is the flat ground and then full blocks. So we're probably going to recess everything into the walls. Uh, this wall does go directly outside, however. I'll go ahead and give you guys a, a view of the place from outside. So this is the outside of our little house. Looks pretty nice in my opinion, if I might say so. And then of course I have these open doorways so that I can in bat form or once I get a jetpack, just fly right in and be just fine. There we go. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit situated. Uh, let's just put a bunch of this stuff away. There we go. Alrighty. So, if we now go ahead and get... So we have a bat box, we have our leadstone energy cell, and those, and this, and we should have some fluiducts. Alright, so we have some fluiducts now. Alright, so let's go ahead and, I do want some of these stone bricks actually. So I'm thinking, let's recess our power gen back into the wall here. Or you know what, I want that there. And then I'm going to input to the back. Input back. That's the bottom. Trying to get this thing to, there we go. Now it's oriented in a way that makes sense. So we will input to the back. I believe blue is input. With our uh, magmatic dynamos. Which, so I'm thinking our ender tank should go here. Or maybe here. Yeah. So we're going to want our ender tank somewhere easily accessible. And then we can go ahead and put down our leadstone energy cell. You know what? Here. Sorry, I'm very, very not sure of where I want my stuff. So... Um, I'm thinking... Magmatic dynamo here and here going into the leadstone energy cell. Quick 
clean this up a little bit. So right there, do this, this, and this. And then we can cover this up. All right. And that will get those going. OK. And then we can have our geothermal generator right here. You know what? Um, no. Not right there. Right there. And then our bat box can face down. Or instead of going in at the ground, we can just go back with our power cables. So we'll go this way. And then we can run our cables out. We're going to want one more. And of course, we'll probably end up rearranging this in the near future. Um, but that's okay. Now we're going to want to get our metal former down right now. So it can extrude. And then we can just do like this, or we can go up and around with our powering, our power cables. Hmm. So maybe along this wall we'll do thermal expansion. All right. So this is going to be thermal expansion. Um, I need to move this. It's going to be a bit of pain. It's okay though, and then our extractor can go here. And this is done. So grab that out, put that there. Put our cables back there. And there we go. Just like that, that'll work out nicely. And then this guy should be set to input and then if we're like this the front is right here and then we'll just probably run up behind so I'll be right back all right guys so I went ahead and picked up my exact crafter and all the chips inside of here so let's go ahead and dig under here a bit and then I believe this is the bottom that should be output mode but we will see shortly so if we do pulverizer redstone furnace and it is so clear that input to the top output to that side input to the side output to that side and then we can go ahead and grab or portal gun this guy and set him down right there and then uh, I believe I do have my shoot so there we go. We are back up and operational. Sweet. This guy is just charging up my backpack right now, and he'll finish filling up his internal buffer, and then he'll he'll be all good. So now let's decide where we want our crafter. Um, Obviously, this is in not permanent storage solution at all right now. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we'll just put it in the wall right here for the time being. And then we can put all this stuff in. And then we will do circuit all the way up, motor, all those all the way up, and then our craft pad can stay here. And yeah, that looks pretty good. 
and then we'll put the rest of our chips in there as well. Then we can do that. Put our wrenches away. And then I think we probably could use... Um, we could probably use a new iron chest. So we'll go ahead and grab this guy. And we'll plop him here and this can kind of be our our junk chest, like all of our dirt and sand and gravel and our cobblestone can go into this guy for right now. We might have to upgrade this guy. So marble marble can stay. Yeah, but like this kind of stuff. And that way we can have all of this go into this chest. I'm actually going to make a, a few things. I'm going to make one more wooden chest. And I'm going to put him right... Hmm. Place that guy there. This can be our receptacle chest. And then I want to move all of these chests down just a bit. This is valuables. This is this chest. This is building materials and kind of plant stuff. This is really valuable stuff and tools and then this is this and uh, these can all go in the building materials chest so there we are a little bit more organized and uh, this feels like it's flown a bit better so let's think I'm thinking uh, we might want to get a little bit more set up with IC2. Um, I'm thinking we might want to get an ore washing plant up. Um, these, this isn't too terrible. It's just some iron plates, a basic machine casing, a couple of electric motors, and an electronic circuit. So, I mean, nothing unhandleable. Uh, I did make something also when I was doing these. I kind of put it away. Uh, this guy. I made one overclocker because it's about all that I can support for EU at the moment. He decreases process time to 70 and increases power consumption to 160%. We're going to put him in our metal former. Um, it'll just make him run a little bit faster. They're pretty much the same crafting recipe, just templates around a bottle of water for these guys. So let's make this. Let's get a more washing plant up. So we're going to need some iron. Um, we'll scrap out a stack and toss into here to roll. That should get us our plates. Yep. Uh, then we're going to need some tin item casings. So we're going to need some tin. How many? Four, it looks like. Four. So we're going to need a couple of those. Uh, we'll go ahead and toss those in afterwards. And then we're going to need some coils. Uh, we get three per ingot. So we'll just toss, I don't know, like 10 ingots in. So I'll get us 30 in. We'll, we'll always use them so it's not like we're wasting. Um, thinking I might throw another Zach table over here. But uh, we'll probably do most of our crafting pads. Most of our crafting from this guy.
So, uh, all right, that's 13. Go ahead and make our machine casing. And then we're going to want to get a bit of redstone from over here as well. Do, 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 do. Redstone. And we're going to need a source of water, but we'll do that in just a second, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and make our... We can't make our circuit just yet. I'm going to call that good. Oh, we need some tin item casings. So let's look at us those. D D D. Waiting for stuff to process. Those are done. Do it again. All right, we're we're getting there. But for right now, I'm thinking we have a pretty nice location. I mean, nice open area. Uh, we got some quarried stone down there that we can play with, and then obviously, guys, I will be sprucing up our our interior i'm gonna make it not just stone bricks it's gonna look much much better after i get it going and i need to find some clay and then we'll really be we'll really be set uh and then we'll switch this to extruding so let's go over here we need some we need a bit more redstone in there there we go Alrighty, so instead of battery, we're going to do copper cable. So we can go ahead and get one of these motors, or one coil at least. Ooh, probably going to need a bit more copper. Two and a motor. And now we can probably make a third coil. Three coils. Luckily, this thing is processing reasonably quickly. All right, so there's that. We can get another coil out, and I believe we can make our second motor. Woohoo! Uh, we can go ahead and make a couple of buckets as well. Obviously, those are part of the recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my craft pad off of there. Look up this recipe. So we're going to need a bucket right there and right there by the looks of things. Yep. And then we're going to need these three across the top. Uh, we're going to need our motors here and here. And then we need our machine casing in the middle. And now we need to make a circuit. So do we have any wire? Nope. So we'll grab six of those in our circuit. Throw this guy right down there. And now we've got our washing plant. Alrighty. That's awesome. So what does this guy do? Well, he's going to take some water, which we will set up in just a second. Do we get him power? Uh, yeah, he is 16. So he'll fill up. I believe he has a pretty decent buffer. Yeah, 16 KU. So, lots of power. Able to be taken there. Um, and then we're going to need to get our transfer stuff set up. So we're going to need some transfer nodes and a transfer pipes. Pipes are easy. Uh, we're going to take a bit of our smooth stone. I'm going to make another crafting bench just because it's useful to have one that is uh, quicker to use. I can just open this one and do this and it doesn't stay. So we're going to do this. Get out a bit of glass. And I believe it's one piece of redstone in the middle. Do 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 do. 
extra utilities is awesome. So now we have transfer node, and we're going to want liquids. So we have to make an items one first. So we're going to need a chest and ender pearl. Get the ender pearl, the redstone, a couple of lapis, a bit of iron, and a couple of smooth stone, and a chest. So go ahead and do this. Chest, smooth stone, ender pearl, and transfer pipe. So ender pearl, transfer pipe, smooth stone, redstone, chest. There we go, a couple of these guys. And then we need a bucket. Go ahead and craft this up. So it's these guys, this bucket, and the lapis. Gets us our liquid one. So if we come on over here and I set up an infinite pool, like so. Yep, I'm gonna have to do a little bit further down. Just realized that. We're gonna do it right here. Do that, put our liquid transfer node right there, and break this block. This will fill its internal buffer with water. And it will transfer it right into there. So. We now have water going into our ore washing plant. Now, what does this ore washing plant do? Well, we're going to need another block from Industrial Craft, the Macerator, to actually take advantage of what this guy does. So, what he does is he takes crushed whatever and he washes it into some piles, some stone dust, and some, some purified stuff. And we can use this purified stuff in a thermal centrifuge, which we will be making probably next episode. And it will give us, like, say we take purified crushed uranium ore, it'll give us more uranium. So basically you get more stuff by doing this. So, thinking... Yeah, it's time for a second row of machines. I'm gonna replace this. Do that, go back over here, grab a bunch of this out, do, 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 do. and this is where our thermal centrifuge and our macerator will go. So what do we need for our macerator? Macerator, and uh, we have some more wire. So for our macerator, we need a machine casing. All right, uh, we can't make that, dang it. Let's do that. Alrighty, so macerator, we need some flint. How much flint do I have? Three is enough. We're gonna need to make a circuit again. Oop, did not want that. Wanted that, but I believe we need this for our thermal centrifuge anyways, so it's all good. And then we need a couple of cobblestone. But, as per usual, we'll be doing it on the ground, because that's kind of our new, our new thing. We should at least have a couple. Ah, oh, no! Well, um, it's not useless, but it's, it's useless. Uh, I won't be using that for a long time. Pay attention to what you have your thing set for, so you don't make that same stupid mistake. We need we need a few of these, right? We have five, so we need three. That's enough. 
pull that out. Advanced one. There we go. So, Macerator. Do do. Do do do. Do do and do. There we go. Now we're going to need a couple of these to hook up. Macerator. It'll fill up nicely. We have a macerator. So now when we get ores, we will do macerating and pulverizing. And then we're going to want a thermal centrifuge. So we're going to need some more infrastructure for this guy. Because uh, we are going to have to make a laser and an advanced machine casing. So this is going to require some advanced alloys, some energy and dust. You know, a bunch of a bunch of goodies. So we're gonna make our thermal centrifuge next time, and we'll make our compressor to get our advanced alloys next time as well. But for now, this has been episode four of our Dennis Two and Five's Let's Play. Moving right along in the series, got lots of stuff going for us. Um, probably go mining in between episodes and get a bunch of ores so we can actually start trying out our ore washing plant. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.